Hey, let's go to the bra full. Uh, we're gonna talk about 12 can mini fridge. It's a little mini fridge, if you guys can see it has a handle. 12 can, 10 liters, I guess, or, um, or 10 liter. I'm not quite sure what that means, but we're gonna go ahead. The model number is CFPC10LGRN. So we're gonna open it up and see what you get when you purchase something like this. And if you can see, it's like a baby blue color that we got. So let's go ahead and open it up. Baby blue color, if you guys can see it, really small. I like the handle on the top. It's only one handle. I thought it was gonna be two, but it's only one. Uh, we're gonna turn it around first so you guys can see a little bit of the side angle. There's some ventilation here. Um, here's the entry, the doorway, of course. Um, we're gonna keep spinning it. Two fan entries, um, one for intake and the other I'll take it if you guys can see it. Um, there are also a couple of things that you can have here. AC, 110 volts, and then DC, which is a 12 volt. And then you have your warm, off, and then cold. So red and yellow, if you can see it, that's in the back of it. Very simple to, to see and notice and, and get a little bit more information. Let's spin it around. Um, more ventilation on this side and also for any kind of um, accumulation of um, any moisture. So you're gonna have that drain. Very simple, 10 cans can fit in here. We're gonna measure it to see how tall it is. Tall is about 13, close to 13 and a half inches, all right? And then we're gonna look at the width here. It's about nine inches, if you guys can see it, close to nine and a half, right? So not bad, we're gonna open it up now and see what kind of space we get in here. And here, of course, we get the rest of the stuff. We get the instructions in here, all right? To get the manual, warranty, and in case you miss a couple things, stop and read this first, it says here. And then the warranty information, they give you the, the cabling itself, the power, two types of power. You actually plug this into your car while you're driving and keeping your um, drinks a little cold, so that's not bad. And then you have these little mesh here too. This is a little tray, if you can see, it's a little tiny tray that actually goes in this corner here. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it's gonna go in here. Pretty much this is how you go and drop it down there. And there's your tray. A little tiny baby, little cute little tray. Maybe you'll put your insulin or anything like that. Uh, maybe a little, little bottles or something. Not quite sure, but this is so cute in here. Um, Space-wise, it's about, let me see the entry in, from there to there. You're gonna get about, Close to six, six, six and a half inches of an entry in there. And of course, you're gonna get fill all the cans in here. This is all made plastic and you could pull these out too, in case you really need to remove them. We're gonna plug it in. We're not gonna plug in the car port. This is actually a car plug, if you can see it. It's a car plug and it comes in a Ziploc bag. Uh, let me pull it out a little bit. That has a fuse in there too, so you could charge it through your car too. In case you have long road trips and you need lots of cold drinks, this is a nice little, a little, cooler that you have all right we're gonna close it up we're gonna go ahead and plug it in we're gonna turn it spin it around and we're gonna plug it into the 12 volts so uh, actually we're gonna plug it into the 10 volts here so let's go ahead and do that all right we just plugged it in we're gonna turn it on to the cool area we got the green light going I feel the fans and we're gonna go see how noisy it is all right I'm really close to it so it's a little the fan is actually blowing more air so we're gonna stand a little bit further away it's about 40 decibels. Let's do a slowness. We'll put slow so you guys can see it more better. It's about 40 decibels, it's not bad. 60 is because of the wind of the air, but if I put it higher, you're not gonna get that, it's about 40. So, um, not that noisy, very quiet. I'm about a foot away from it. Yeah, it's about 40. My dog's making more noise than the fan. <laughs> it's a little tiny. So like I said, 10, 10 bottles or 10 folks you can fit in there. Really small. It's super tiny for traveling purposes on your car. Uh, I think it's a great thing, but college dorms might not be a good idea to be honest with you. These plastic things, in fact, let's fit one of the water bottles in here. This is a pretty long water bottle. And if you can see, it doesn't fit in there. And it, this is about, how many inches is it? Let me see. This is about a seven and a half. Oh, this is about a seven and uh, eight inch bottle. 
and it does not fit in there. The only thing you're gonna fit in here is probably soda cans. Unfortunately, you're not gonna have uh, enough space in here. This comes out, and that's the only way you're probably gonna fit it. So, okay, now we remove one of the things, and I see, and it still kind of hits out. It still makes it. Yeah. No, I'm very little disappointed how smart it is. It is very small. This is kind of like a personal to have in your office kind of thing. So uh, it is cooling on right now. I could feel it like getting a little cold. Of course, it's going to take a couple of hours to get to a super chill area. It's not going to freeze up. It does not freeze. There's no there's no control for the actual um, coldness in here. There's only one temperature and that's pretty much what you're going to get. Um, fortunately, they don't have any lights either, any LED lights or anything like that. Uh, so you're going to have to wing it without any lights and also without any temperature control. So uh, overall, uh, a little disappointed. It looks big in picture, but it's actually really small. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we are out.